I'm being sold fear so that I can go panic and get this shot right away. I'm being sold fear so I can buy this $20 mask, right? I'm being sold fear so I can like take these drugs, right? So I can buy these drugs. I mean, on every side, whether you look at it, whether with the hydroxy, the mask, the vitamins, the everything is functioning with fear, fear and controversy. Controversy sells, marketing 101, right? So if you stop the controversy and you think for yourself, quietly, peacefully, and you go, okay, well, I'm relatively we healthy. Let people do that. I mean, no, we, we don't do let quiet, we don't quietly. Let, we don't let people choose the route that they want to choose, and we don't give informed consent. If I give you an informed consent, and I basically say, okay, I'm going to give you this drug. Yeah. Here are your risks. We don't know this, this, and that. Right. But we know this, this, and that. Then you, you're able to look at the data and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to take my chances right. and I'm going to do that. But if, and, and here's where, you know, on both sides, you know, you were telling me before with hydroxychloroquine, your gut told you not to take it. Well, I, I, part of it though, it was, was the idiots are doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and that, it you was, didn't want to be, yes. And I thought like, is my, how is my doctor? Right. My Brilliant, genius, best of the best doctor drinking the Kool-Aid on this. And right. now I know that she was looking. She in was reading. She that was you looking, were, yes. Yeah, and talking to. Doctors uh, on the front line. Yes. That were seeing, touching the patient. And talking to, it's, even Elon Musk is like, I called China and said, what are you guys doing? And yes. I told them right away here, stop using the ventilators. It's going to kill people. But yes. nobody listened. And now he's like a right-wing weirdo. Right. And it's just, it's bizarre. And it's and just, people are not allowed. That's the scariest thing for me is that even now you and I have this conversation. We're like, well, we're going to become anti-vaxxers, right-wing weirdos, tin hat lunatics. And, and that's why I'm like, can you just tell people what a genius you are and how credentialed you are and how uh, people think- bow down at your feet and your field and how you've been doing this for 30 years? And so it's like, we cannot do that. I think it's more than the credibility. I think it's the understanding that you cannot interfere with research. Interference with research happen, and that affects all of us. Because, and we have to start trusting those people that were on the front line. You know, because unfortunately what I saw this pandemic were the doctors that were not touching the patients, not treating, reading the papers, were the ones talking and influencing the public, but they didn't have the guts themselves to go on the front line. You know, if it's one thing, if you're treating patients, I learned so much on the front line of, of COVID. I've seen this in all that the, the congressional it, hearings, you know, and the doctors it doesn't, go on the front line saying this. Yeah. And you know what? But the fact is I can't even discuss it because of this whole narrative. But at some point, the head of pharma is gonna become a patient. At some point, the politician is gonna be a patient. At some point, him or his kids. So interference with research and medicine is a big no-no. When I I saw the treatment was working, remember? Keeping it real with Jillian Michaels.